Austin and it was the start of the second semester, right? I don't think anybody was living next to me first semester. Now there are most definitely people living next to me and they're very loud. And so I'm worried that the walls are super thin and they will be able to hear me. So if they're hearing me right now, what's up guys? Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. But you know what else I am? I'm not just a YouTuber. I also go to NYU. So many superiority complexes in one. I am just the worst. I do happen to go to NYU. I don't know how or why. It's second semester and they still haven't figured out that they made a mistake by accepting me. So I will just enjoy my time here while I can until I get that little email that's like, hey, so sorry about this. So today, I'm doing the long-awaited dorm tour. I have been getting requests for this since I moved in. My dorm just wasn't in a place that I was proud of. The decorations were not there. And while it's still not done, because I didn't want to decorate it all at once when I moved in, I wanted to accumulate stuff in New York and while I was here and put that in my dorm. That's why I didn't want to film it at first, but now it's second semester, we're here, and it's looking beefier. This light is so bad. This is my NYU dorm tour. I live in a dorm called Ruben. If you are a prospecting NYU student and you're watching this, this is Ruben Hall. Doesn't have air conditioning. They might be tearing it down next year though. I've heard word around the street that this dorm will not exist in the near future. However, this could just be cap, as the scholars say. The nice thing about NYU dorms is they all have their own bathrooms. There are different kinds of layouts for NYU dorms. I live in a suite, so you walk in the door, uh, you're gonna see. I'm gonna show this to you because it's a dorm tour. In my room itself, I just have one roommate. She is not here right now. I'm not gonna be going through her shit because that would be weird and rude. But I'll give you an overview of the room itself, but I'm just gonna be going into depth on my side of the room. I'm gonna show you my hallway. I'm scared that my suite mates will hear me and I'll get embarrassed. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm on FaceTime with my mom. Ready? Okay. Guys, I'm too embarrassed. I'm too embarrassed to do the mom thing, so I'm just gonna show you what the hallway looks like and do a little voiceover so nobody has to know. Nobody will know. It'll just be a secret. This is voiceover me, and this is the view of my hallway from my suite. So across the way, you see my suite mate's dorm, and then the bathroom. This is, I guess, what it looks like when you walk in. I have a I heart Dilfs flag. This was my contribution to the dorm. Other people bought shower curtains, bath mats. I bought this tapestry. I was worried my suite mates wouldn't like it, but they seemed pretty receptive of it. So right next to the dill flag, we have the bathroom. It's cute. I like Ruben bathrooms. I like ours. It's very, like, I like the yellow. Honestly, it's kind of cute. It's a big old bathroom. This is kind of scary. Big shower with a tub. That's the bathroom. Thank you for tuning in. We're safe and sound now in the privacy of my room. So let's get into it. Let's get into it, guys. This is what the view looks like from the door with the crooked the crooked, the crooked, the crooked shade. From the door, here we go. My roommate's bed, my bed, my desk, my roommate's desk, my roommate's dresser, my dresser, my closet, my roommate's closet. How about that? A nice thing about the dorm that I live in is that we have walk-in closets and not all NYU dorms have walk-in closets. I know that Lipton Hall does not have walk-in closets. That's about all I know because I haven't been in very many dorms for extended periods of time. That's what makes up for the lack of air conditioning. They said no air conditioning, but you get a big closet, which I'll take, honestly. The air conditioning thing is only an issue in the in the first few weeks. I guess we'll just start with my closet. I'll show you the closet. I have tape because I had command hooks and then they fell off. This is my closet. It's a very nice size. I am very content with this. I just have so much shit. It's really packed just because I have so much fucking shit. So many purses. I keep my purses on these hooks. I have some shoes back there. I have an air fryer back there. There's my hamper and there are my men's boxers. I have a little shoe rack and then up here I have like my socks and underwear and bras and gloves and stuff and then extra towels and sheets. Wow. My closet does a super annoying thing that's about to happen any second now. When the, when the light is on for too long, it goes beep, 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 beep. My roommate's closet does not do this. That's the closet. Nice and big. Hers is a tad bit bigger. She got here first. What can I say? Right next to the closet, we have this tiny little nook, which I shoved my trash can into, and it doesn't quite fit, so it kind of sits at an angle. And then I have the dresser. This dresser is, it's spacious. Five drawers, and the bottom one's a biggie. Nobody fucking cares what's in my drawers, but I have a lot of clothes. Here's a desk. This desk is, um, I like knickknacks. I like having shit everywhere. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot going on. I love it though. I think it's a nice conversation starter. I love knickknacks. I have a picture of my dead father. 
I have a photo of my dead father. That's nice. Just a little makeup palette. You know, I just have some fun stuff. A little plant, some purses. I don't know what that is. That's not mine. A little Italian French guy. This nutcracker. A picture of me and my boyfriend. And then these finger puppets that are supposed to be Spongebob and Patrick that he got me. Because they're fucking stupid looking. And I like them on display. Then I have some games up there. I'm a big game gal. I like playing games with the homies in the dorm. Game night. Oh, also on top of the... You don't really care. So this is my, this is my desk. I love my desk. It's my pride and joy. I have this little acrylic organizer that I keep all my makeup in just so I can leave space in my drawer for school shit and whatnot. I have a little thing with my schedule on it. And then just some shit in the back. I don't know. I want to fill this up, but I don't think I'm going to have time to because I'm working on this bad boy, which will never get filled up for as long as I live here because I only have 14 more weeks in this dorm. And this took me 15 weeks to do. I don't know. I have this little mirror. Dorms come with mirrors. We only get one though, and it's so musty. This isn't just in our dorm either. The mirrors in this dorm I'm not the bathroom mirror. The bathroom mirror is fine. The mirrors they put in the closets here, like in every single dorm in the storm hall, are musty as shit. So I brought my own mirror. And my best friend did it for me. She decorated it. She just bought a mirror and like glued moss onto it. Check that shit. Bam. Which I don't know what to do with. I guess I should probably put it in my closet. My bed is vibey as fuck. I got a heated blanket. I'm out of breath. Party rockers in the house tonight. Everybody just have a good time. I have some nice under the bed storage. I got bed risers and so did my roommate, so it's nice to keep shit under there. She also keeps shit under her bed. I have sweaters and stuff under this one, a yoga mat, a tripod, and then I have like sweatshirts and shit under this one. This wall is my pride and joy. Again, great conversation starter. I love shit. <laughs> I love having shit on my walls. I love having shit on my shelves. I feel like when people walk into the room, they just want to look at it, and I think that's kind of fun. Accumulated the majority of this stuff in New York. The only things that were on this wall when I moved in was this cloth from Amazon, vinyl cover, which is from thrift store, and this banana light, which is from Urban Outfitters. You know, I have some pictures with my friends. Fun stuff. I got this at Strand. I've gotten stuff from museums. You guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? It's a little... It's a little dingleberry, but I keep it covered because I don't want to be looking at a baby penis all day. I'll give you a little overview. This is a little drawing that me and my friends did together. More pictures. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Some guy in Washington Square Park gave me this dollar thing. I love this shit. This makes me so happy. I just put everything on my wall. I have a wall like this back at home, and so this makes me feel at home. As for my bed, I love my bed. I love the colors of my bed. I love the green pillowcases. I have a body pillow on the back, and then a bunch of throw pillows. Thrifted this. This is from Etsy. This is from Amazon. My boyfriend made me this, and it has like my art on it, and then a poem that he wrote for me on the back, and he got it for me for Christmas, and I hated it. It's stupid. And then this is one of the little send a friend things. I don't know if you guys have gotten ads for that before, but I got so many ads for it and my best friend sent me one. She goes to a different school, so she sent me this little dog. His name is Mora. Um, I created a little backstory for him and his backstory is that his pregnant wife fell out of a building window and he hasn't spoken since. So we're gonna be nice to Morris because He's grieving. It was 10 years ago, but you never you never really get over that. Then, right next to my bed, I have my little makeshift nightstand, which is just a three-tier rolling rack from the container store. I have, like, stuff I'll need at the top. I don't know what those are. My snacks underneath, and then I have utensils and bowls and cups and shot glasses. I don't- I drink coffee out of the shot glasses. Behind my bed, we have this nice little windowsill, and this nice window. The view is not great, but if you, like, lean over there, you can see some green stuff, and I'll take that. My sweet mates have a much better view because they're facing outside onto the street and we are just facing onto the other side of the dorm but not every dorm in Ruben has a view like this we just lucked out. On the windowsill, um, my roommate bought a kettle. We have the kettle, and then I have some crystals. I have my book, and I have some cereal, and then I have this weird little gap that I don't really know what to do with, so I just kind of threw my ukulele there. Anyway, I like the books on display too. I like my crystals on a little rolling tray. So this is my roommate's bed, and she also has like a weird little, like we both have these weird little, but the fridge fits perfectly. The fridge fits perfectly, and then the microwave is on top of the fridge, and we have this Amazon Alexa that I brought from home that I can't get to work here. I don't know why it doesn't work here, and it works at home, but that's just how it is. It's a nice little fridge. She got this fridge. So thank you, Emily, for being a homie. There's nothing in the fridge except for cheese because I like to pretend that I'm a little mouse and eat cubes of cheese sometimes. And coffee and almond milk for my cereal that I keep over there. And then she has a bunch of face masks in the fridge. What's nice about this fridge is it has a little, it has a little freezer in it. And then we have these vegetarian chicken nuggets that I bought and I tried to make them once in the microwave and I... They caught on fire and the entire floor had to evacuate. Now I'm too scared to make them again because literally I caught my dorm on fire. And that was really traumatizing for me. I don't want to touch them. I don't want to throw them out. I just, I can't. I don't want to deal with it. Ah! Mm. Oh my god. 
what has happened. I forgot, uh, I forgot to film an outro. So now I'm here. I look atrocious. I just got out of the shower. And yet, somehow, I look mustier. Anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this as short as possible so I don't have to watch myself looking like this for too long whilst I'm editing. But that was my dorm tour. That was my NYU Ruben Hall dorm tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Look at me posting a video. Cheers to that. If you want to know more about life at NYU, I have plenty of videos. I don't, actually. I have two videos. But I'm going to be filming more, guys. I'm going to be filming more. And you can always follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I'll be posting it up on there. If you miss me, I'm out there. I'm still thinking about you. I'm still thinking about you. That was my video. Thank you for watching. Sorry I look like this. That's my door. Bada bing, bada boom, mic drop, peace. Ew.